Swinburne University of Technology. Hi and welcome back to Swinburne Codecasts. I'm Andrew Kane. And I'm Jake. And in this video, we'll have a look at function pointers. So far, the programs we've created have called the functions and procedures that we want directly. So you actually use the name of the function and procedure to indicate the one that you want to call. And that's been really cool so far, but I've been thinking if there's a way that we could treat our functions and procedures more like data so that we could be more flexible with them. Well, actually there is. You can use a thing called a function pointer. And function pointers allow you to create a variable where that variable points to a function or a procedure. And so you can treat it then both like a function and procedure, but also like a piece of data. Cool, because I've been thinking about this user interface library I want to create for Swin Game, yep. and in it I want to provide a way for people that use this library easily create buttons. And yeah, I, and I, other controls. Yeah, yeah. but the, the thing I've been having a problem with is that I don't know what these people will use these buttons for. Yep. So how, how can I, is this, can I use function pointers here so that I can let them decide what the buttons will do when the button is clicked? Definitely. Yeah, so this is exactly one of the cases where function pointers are used. And similar things are actually used in the core of like, all of the operating systems you can think about. So buttons in Coco, for example, on a Mac, or in Windows Forms on uh, a PC, yep. they need a way of doing the same thing. So they provide a framework to say, this is what a button is, and then you tell them, I want the button to look, you know, be in this position on the screen, have this text, and when it's clicked, do this code. That's exactly what I need for my library. Yeah, so what we can do for that is, I see that we've got here a record inside which we're declaring the data you're going to want related to your button. So the information that I do have, it's like its position on the screen, obviously I need to know that, the name of the button and the text it'll display, but what I'm missing is what does the button do when it's clicked? Yeah, so here is where we can inject our function pointer. So we can, in fact this will be a procedure pointer technically, but Best I just think about them as function pointers okay. in general. Uh, so this, we can have another field in here, which will be a piece of data, but it is a function at the same time. Okay. So the that, data is actually the pointer. Right. So it says the function you want is over there. So it's storing a memory address. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But you can think about it as if it is a function. Right. Because it's a, which function is it? It's, you know, yeah. that one over so there. So I'm associating a function with this specific button. That's correct. And each button that I have on my screen will be associated with a different or even the same yeah, function. Well, we don't really care. We don't know. But it could be any of these functions that yeah. I've written later. So what we have to specify then is what that function or procedure looks like. Okay. So in this case, it doesn't. we don't need it to be a function because when we tell them the button was clicked, they don't need to give us anything back. Yeah. No, well, I don't know. No, because we don't care. Exactly. You just do your stuff. Yeah. Whatever you wanted to do when the button was clicked, yeah. you do that, that's your problem. That's right. And I'll then go on and check the other buttons. Cool. So we don't need to... So it's a procedure. We're pointing... It's going to be a procedure. Okay. Uh, do we want to give that functional procedure anything when we call it? Well, I think it'd be good if that procedure knew what button was clicked yeah, to call so, it. Well, that way the person who's using your button code uh, could use the one procedure to handle multiple buttons. Because maybe they've got a bunch of buttons that all do basically the same thing, yeah. rather than having them call you know, 20 yeah. so different maybe procedures. Maybe not everyone will need it, but for those who do, it's really useful to include. Yeah. And so what we do in then, when we declare the type for the function pointer, we specify that we want these parameters. So we're saying cool. this type, our button clicked, uh, a button click type, yep. is a pointer to a procedure that accepts uh, a button as a parameter. So how do I actually call this uh, pr this procedure now? Okay, so I see you've got some code here to check if the button was clicked. Yeah. yeah. What we can do inside that, if the button was clicked, then we can read that on click value out of the record. Okay. And we can say, we can now treat it as if it is a function. So we can... Or a procedure in this case. Okay, yeah. so we can we can get that procedure and, and call the procedure yeah. that was in, stored in that button record. Yeah. Cool. And so it looks like it's a it's a just procedure. An, yeah, it's one of the many procedures that yeah. have been written. But the one it's going to call is whichever one they gave us. Okay, great. So I get how that works now, but how do I actually assign that procedure to that function pointer inside of my button record? Okay, what we can do there is 
When we create the button, we can assign it the on-clicked value, the address of whichever function or procedure, so in this case a procedure, whichever procedure we want to call. Now that procedure has to match the type declaration. Cool. So we've said it has to be, in this case, a procedure with a button parameter. And it can be can be called anything. Right, it can do anything. Can do anything. But it has to be a procedure that accepts a button. Yes. Cool. Okay, so this is a little test I've written yep. to make sure that everything's working. So yep. over here we have the initialize, we initialize the two buttons. So we initialize all the information for that button, including the procedure to be assigned to the function pointer. Yeah, and I notice you've got two different buttons and two different procedures. Exactly, so each yeah. point to a different procedure. Yep. Then over here, we, uh, we loop through the buttons and we, when it, assuming the second button is pressed, we access the, function po the value of the function pointer in the second button and we call that piece of code over there. That's right. Because that was the function that was stored in the function pointer of that button. Okay, that's it for function pointers. Function pointers are a really flexible way of treating our functions and procedures as data. Yeah, and this is a, a feature that's used in many things like buttons. So whenever you see a button on a screen, most likely there's a bit of code in the background. Something like a function pointer, if not a function pointer, yeah. telling that button what to do. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We've got a bunch of other videos. We look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Bye. This has been a Spindoin production.